So we're here on the floor, like literally on the floor, uh, because we got using the wireless network down here. <laughs> uh, we got Douglas Wright from Sonomus, Sonoma Wireworks, who's got something really exciting to show us. So what are we looking at, Douglas? Well, so we announced uh, this year at NAM that we've done a uh, low latency uh, engine for Android, and I've got our guitar amp models, uh, the stuff that's out of Guitar Tone on iOS, running on Android, and we've got it plugged in through a uh, our development guitar jack here here and um, we've got 20 milliseconds of latency. Let's have a quick listen. Cracked the code effectively, right? Oh, it was uh, it wasn't easy. It was a lot of hard work, but uh, we we see Android as a you know a huge growing platform and uh, want to see our apps running on it. So we did what we had to do. So is this going to be something that's going to be you you've kind of made made it your own? Are you going to make this available to other people through? licensing or whatever, so are we going to see more of this stuff, or you've just thrown the gauntlet <laughs> Well, um, our, you know, our goal is to get uh, some licenses from device manufacturers so that this is on the largest possible amount of devices possible. So it's actually embedded in the unit rather than, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then um, uh, there will there'll be an SDK, and we'll see what happens. Wow. So, I mean, this is what we've been waiting for, really, because, I mean, it's... It's traditionally everybody said, no, you can't do it, you can't do it. And what, what version of Android are you running this on? Um, we've run it on everything from ice cream sandwich to jelly bean. So. Wow, what kind of overhead are we talking about in terms of, does it, does it take a lot of grunt to do this or are you able to run it on low end phones? Uh, we're, we're only really testing on the good ones that you'd want to run audio software on. So, so this is, what's this one, a Galaxy, right? This is a Galaxy Nexus. Wow. It's not particularly powerful, but uh, the amp models run just fine. So. Wow, so what, what's the biggest challenge you face with this? Is it just kind of trying to think outside the box? I mean, do you have to go kind of round it in a different way than you would normally do for this kind of thing? Uh, I mean, ultimately, it's not that different than other um, audio plat uh, other operating system platforms. Just had to um, not rely on what was there already and roll our own. Right, because, I mean, one thing that's been said is because of the, just the diversity of versions of Android and versions of the hardware, it's just almost impossible to develop for, but uh, improved other ones, right? Uh, well, just, uh, you know, t not limiting ourselves to thinking about like the whole problem at once. Just like let's get low latency running on some th some devices and then worry about the rest later. And we've got we've got it working. So so is this going to work? I mean, obviously we're listening to a live input. I mean, is it going to work to, to the same degree for like uh, software instruments like keyboards? And Absolutely. Yeah. Play, playback latency is half as much as throughput latency. Right. So this is 20 milliseconds in to out. And out would just be twenty, would just be ten. But you know, then you've got the UI latency of from between when you touch the screen and when you hear it. So we've worked really hard on getting that as low as we can too. So um, that, but that you know, that's more in the app level and the way you uh, you know deliver the messages between the UI and and the audio engine. So um, that's part of what we've been working on too. So do you think this is as low as you can go, or is there is there room for more? Oh, uh, we'll see. <laughs> So this is the first time it's been outed. Yeah, what's been the, the, uh, the kind of the feedback you've been getting? Oh, we're like non-stop people coming up and asking when they can have it for their app too. So right, yeah. Now, so they would what? They just kind of get hold of the SDK and kind of the license. Well, we need to, we need to get the list of devices that it's going to be running on first. So okay. that's the that's the big question. Right. Okay. So just to understand that again, that would have to be built into the OS that's put onto the. Onto the device, right? That's well, right. It's not a hardware thing. It's just a kind of they'd have to roll it into their flavor of Android. That's right. So who are you going to be talking to? You're going to be talking to the, the carriers or the the, the, bank manufacturers? the, the the handset manufacturers. That's I mean, it's a short list. You know who it would be. Right. Okay. <laughs> and have you had any? But I guess this isn't really a mobile phone kind of uh, <laughs> kind of place. But uh, no, and you know that's uh, you know that's another topic for another discussion. So fantastic. So um, perhaps you can. Give us a little bit more there. Oh, lovely Taylor. Well, I can hear in the room that uh, hardly any latency, right? Thank you very much, guys. You're very welcome.